Hello everybody and welcome back to Caravan Sandwich where at the moment I believe our main sort of, we'll have a look on toaster, but our main quest at the moment is to get down to these uh, signal jammers in the aqueduct area and to go and get them. So I feel like that's what I want to do right now. We can go back to some of our... Um, some of our side quests, maybe I think after we've done that, because I feel I feel like doing some main quest stuff now. We did a lot of side questy stuff towards the end of the last episode. So let's jump in and have a look on the map and see where we're kind of off to. So we're off to this kind of area here. There is a Tato over there, but um, I'm not really sure whether I should be... whether I have mushrooms for it. Um... In fact, before I do that, I wonder if I can get mushrooms again from that from that area over there, or whether I have to go to a different uh, grave site every time. Let's go and have a look and see if uh, it's possible to get them from there again. It's just here. No, I th think not. Okay. So I think what I will do, because there is a Tato right over where we're going, um, I might just, before I do that, it'll be the only side questy thing I'll do for now. But before we do that, I'm just going to go and see if I can find a mushroom area. So let's turn on our mycelium. That looks like it's the, the only piece around there. So let's just keep going this way and see if I can find anything. You'll follow the mycelium trail. Where is it going? The problem when you're just following that is it, it, you end up stuck. Uh, uh, let me let me out. Let me out. I'm stuck. Ah, okay. Let's go this way. Cool. It seems to be sending me back towards. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm looking at this and I'm not looking where I'm going properly. It's really darned hard to tell how to follow this trail. Oh my goodness, okay. I feel like I could follow this one maybe. Oh great, that's gone straight into a dead end. Lovely stuff. And that's going straight into the cave, isn't it? All right, so I can't, I can't do that then. That's not part of it then. I also don't really want to go back to that same one I've already visited, but this is, this is a rough one to follow, to be honest. Where am I going now? I do seem to at least be going somewhere different. So yeah, let's try and follow this around then. You better not take me back into the... village. It's taking me back to the village again. Like, I don't... I don't get it, guys. I do not get it. Like, how to, how to find these sites. Because that one's going back where I came from. That's not what I want. I want a different one. Uh, is there a way to see this more on the map or anything? I don't think so. Because I'm basically headed back into the village and that is not what I want to do at all. Let's see if I can go another way at all with it. So it only goes this way. Which takes us back round to where we came from. Okay. But then there are bits that seem to split off when we get when we get there. As if it's like another bit of the mycelium network. See, going that way. So where, do, where is that? It 
it's so hard to tell. I don't want to just go back where I came from, really. Not particularly. Um, what if I go up here? Like that. Yeah. Okay. We're kind of we're kind of getting something, right? Okay. Cool. Uh, round here. Down there. Can we drive the van off here? Yes. Gliding, spend more than one second in the air with the van. Well. <laughs> okay, so we've got another one going through there. And they're kind of getting together and going this way as well. Alright, I will follow this one. I hope I can find what I'm looking for. Over here somewhere? Is it? Okay. And go off this way. Alright. I think we're at a point now where we're actually going, getting somewhere with it. Honestly, following these trails is a pain. Are we here? Yes, we are. Oh, and I got two there. Nice. Okay, that was well worth doing then. Alright, let's take that off. Right, so now I want to follow um, the general, and it looks like there's uh, another thing to do for Hilo over there, but I, I will try and see if I can scan around for the, uh, for the jammers around here. Right, let's scan. Seeing anything there? Let's uh, scan around here. Maybe this might be somewhere where I'd find a something nice. I can see like purple ones and all sorts here. Oh yeah, there's the aqueduct. Okay. Aha! I see a jammer. Right there. Okay, out we get. In the refuge. It's the refuge area. I don't know whether that's a... How are we going to get to that? I don't know whether that counts as one of the aqueduct area jammers, regardless. If I can get to it, I will. Oh, okay, we need the van for this one. This will be our first one that we can pull the door off. Let's go pull the door off. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this van around a bit. Mm. No, I wanna I wanna change tool to the grappler. How do I how do I get that to aha, there we are. Grab. Pull. <laughs> Fun times. Right, so I should now be able to get to that one. Hopefully be fun times. Well, I won't be able to get to everything. And this game kind of, I think it almost purposely... Oh, look, another thing with wind. How interesting. There's a note left within this graffiti. Threatening notes. A bit of a threatening note found in a ruin. It's sending a warning to whoever's smashing up the jammers. Is that me? I guess it is me, yeah. 
Anyone who messes with the witch's work shall be punished. You are not welcome here. Wow. It's kind of, some kind of bad joke. I wonder. So we got the aqueduct and the refuge there. All back online. Um, so I might go and find that Tato in a minute as well. But in the meantime, let's have a good look around here because there's going to be lots of components. I don't know how many components I'm going to need for the next things I have to do, but... I don't think it hurts to have a good look around. I'm wondering if I can get right up to the top of here, but I probably can't right now. Um, I am wondering if I could run all along there, if I can get up onto that pipe and run all the way along. I'm not sure about that one, I think that might be a bit of a tough ask. Okay, I'm going to run the van over onto that pad over there and just see what's, uh, what's what over there. that all about then I wonder though so that doesn't that seems a bit weird but I can grapple that buried object come on out it broke my grapple how dare it you have to be in exactly the right uh, orientation to do it probably uh, let's try from here Oh, I think I got it out. Yes, nice. Nice job. Okay. Not sure how this door's going to work, though. The van doesn't seem to be the right thing, and nor does my weight, so... I don't know what it's expecting to land on there. Uh, four common components and two uncommon. Wonderful. Okay, well, that's one of my jammers found, then. Um, and there's probably one here and one here, I, gu I would guess. I would like to take a guess. I need to head north a bit. Right. Alright, so that's the... Yeah, that's the wrong way. Okay, so I need to go... Kind of behind myself. Or follow round and go all the way down. Yeah, I might follow around and go down there, actually. At the moment, I don't need components. So I feel, this is why I feel like maybe I'm doing a bit too much component checking. Okay, and now we just need to turn a little to the right. Let's try and see what we've got. Mm, maybe over here? Is that where I just came from? Yeah, so I just came from. Maybe over here. No, that looks like it might be a prime jammer location. By the way, the, the dash on the van works a lot better around here. So let's go into scan mode. I think that's that looks to me like a jammer. Yeah. Even just looking at it, I could tell that was a jammer. All right, let's explore this building then. There's a yellow one in there. Like I say, I don't know how many I'm going to need, and I'm not... As you may know, I'm not very much of a person for getting things that I don't need for no apparent reason. I like to do puzzles and bits and bobs like that, but only, you know, if it's necessary. If I happen to be running straight past a component, I'll pick it up. Not a problem. But if I don't need components, I'm not going to, like, run around trying to get them. Oh, okay. Well, that looks like a thing for the van. But how on earth would I get the van up here? 
Is there like, is this like a, no, that's for the door. Maybe I can. Let's drive the van around here and see if I can grapple it from far back or not. Yeah, I definitely can't get in there that way. What about around here? Look at all the all the old vans. No, I definitely, definitely got to get that door off. If I want to get in there. And, if, and I've definitely got to get in there if I want to go up. So... Brilliant driving. A plus driving. Alright. Gotcha. Sometimes the, the tool changing is a bit finicky. But it does work if you just fiddle around for a while and try and make it work. I didn't think it would work from that far back, but that's awesome because that's a rare component. And access to the ceiling. To the roof. Okay. Jammer gone for that particular area. Nice. So we've done two of the three jammers there. There's another jammer up there, probably. One up there, maybe one there. But I think there needs to be a third one. So check out the post on Toaster. Okay. Alright, count on me to destroy the signal jammers. There are three more after the Labotech one. Make sure to unjam the whole marked area. Right. So, we need to get into, like, this area up here. So, I just need to travel kind of northeast. And I think it, it uh, behooves me to just go and do that straight away. Uh, the Tato is around the aqueduct area somewhere. So, I might just go and unjam that and then go back and get the Tato while I'm in the general vicinity. I do like this desert area. I do find it easier to drive around in, to be honest, because you can off-road most of it. Right, let's have a look and make sure I am going kind of the right way. Yes, if I carry on in this direction, I'll be in kind of the right place. So, coming up to there. I can't ignore the fact that there's a yellow right there. Like loads of stuff here. There's a red in there. The aqueduct watchtower. I don't think this has what we we've come here for though, which is the uh, the watch. Uh, sorry, which is the <laughs> not the watchtower. What am I talking about? Which is the signal jammer, so I don't think that's around. Wait, but that's Yucca's workshop. She told me she painted a bit, but she never wanted to show me any of it. Love all the graffiti. Did Yucca do the graffiti too? Now then, yellow one up the top, rare one. I don't know what, what's going to be asked of me next, you see. So I'm like, well, if I can get yellow and purple ones and stuff, then I should do it while I see them. Oh. That's just a thing for a person to get in here. All right, okay. Oh, man, there's loads to check out here. Good grief, and there's a load of switches and things. Yeah, I feel like this might be a later on kind of thing. <laughs> I was just there in case they were good components, but I found a couple, so that's fine. Right, where am I? I'm Oh, I'm right by that little Tato. He's over there, is he? Somewhere? Where is he compared to me? Yeah, other end of the building. Somewhere over here. The 
good job, Sheila. Double good job. This is my driving sometimes to remind you of, uh, you know, like Sideshow Bob when he steps on all the rakes in The Simpsons. That's my driving sometimes in these games. All right, so the Tato's meant to be around here somewhere. Oh, I've gone way too far. Oops. He's like all the way back here, apparently. Hi, right, little Tato. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. I'm coming to find you. Is that you on top of the rock there? Yes, it is. All right, let's go get him. That's why the, the... Oh, and there's mushrooms, like, right by him, too. But that's cool, because now we have three mushrooms, so I can get, like, two more of his pals. Okay, cool. Hello? What are you doing out here? My grandma is dead. She's under the sand now. Wow, well, I hope she had a nice life. Oh, you came to see her grave. Do you think you could say goodbye to your grandma and follow me back to the cave if I gave you a mushroom? Bye, grandma. Oh, I'm so sad for that little Tato. Aww. So there's a couple more like over in the croaking forest. I could maybe grab them with the two mushrooms I have. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to get that quest finished, but I'm also like very more. I'm way more invested in the main quest right now. Okay, so. I'm just seeing how my van like makes tracks on the map. It's kind of cool. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. Let's uh, head over this way and keep scanning. See if I can find one of these buildings around this area is going to have the jammer on it. Not that one. Not that one, seemingly. I see you up there. Signal jammer number three. Mistral Comb. Oh, how interesting. So this was the area I needed to go to for the farming quest. Side quest. Is this like a nomad area then? Pretty cool. Let's get this sorted then. Let's get out of the van and see what we can do. Climbing wise. This is such a cool area. Yeah, if I get the signal unjammed, I can kind of then try and work out. Oh, here's the steps in. All right, okay, I need to bring the van around here. Sam must have gotten inside since last time we came. We could also sleep outside. Hi, I'm Soge from Estello. You have a problem with the door? Hey, little one, yes, the combs door is stuck. Because of the Tarask, sand gets everywhere. Oh, is that a crackpool hook on your van? Yes, we actually upgraded my van in order to deal with just this kind of problem. So cool. Could you try to use it to yank off the door? I'll see what I can do. What a nice girl. Okay, open the door to help the nomads, and the nomads have snack bars. So I might be able to find a few snack bars around here. Yeah, so I'll have to get back to the van. I didn't realise I needed to bring the van all the way up here. I thought I could just, like, jump in. But never mind. Let's just uh, take the van up. I should have known we'd need to use a grapple, shouldn't I, really? Because we needed to use it for a whole load of other things. Okay, let's get the van up here. And let's turn it around. So let's try not to run over any nomads on the way. Right. Done. What a great grapple hook. Great performance. Cool. Thank you, little one. You really saved us. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, we didn't even introduce ourselves. I'm Bay, and this is Orgeet Poivron and Old Curry. He complains a bit, or maybe more than that. A lot. We were hoping to get a signal here, as it's pretty high, but it seems like it's even worse. Yes, there's a signal jammer around here. We have to destroy it. The sand witches have struck again. Or maybe it's as a consortium's doing. I wonder what the sand witches are all about, though. Maybe I'll have destroyed all of these jammers, and actually I shouldn't have done it. That would be a twist, wouldn't it? What do you know about the sand witches? 
Oh, it's a story that only old people believe in. But that's great. We'll finally be able to settle down. Make yourself at home. Alright, okay. They didn't tell me much about it then, did they? Thank you, little one. We don't need more problems than we already have. If you need anything, the nomads are here to help. I actually do need something. We're currently using synthetic seeds in the village, but we'll run out soon. You're looking for the nomad ark? That's a bold thing to ask. We need to help each other out, don't we? You're right. I'll bring it up next time the guild votes. I can't guarantee anything, though. That's already enough. Come back in a few days once we're settled in. I'll try to convince the others. Dad will be happy to hear the nomads are willing to help. But for now, I have other signal jammers to take down. Okay, yes, I do indeed have signal jammers to take down, and then I can see what the deal with the seeds are once we get Toaster back up and running, which we don't have at the moment. Ooh, this is a scary, dairy little little area, isn't it? They, they really did make this out of nuts and bolts and gaffer tape. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Up we go. Hey, look, it's a triangle sandwich. I thought I was going to find... Uh, I thought the nomad camps were supposed to have cereal bars. But I didn't see any cereal bars. Did you? No. So we've got Mistral Cone back up and running. Very nice. I think there might be... S oh, okay. I met with the nomads. I'll explain everything once I'm back. You're the best. Treasure hunt? Orgeet. Hello. I need some help for a highly important mission. Wow, that sounds serious. A treasure? What kind of treasure? So we've got more side quests to, it, to do. Okay. Um, so I have unjammed the whole unmarked area. Check out the post on toaster. Maybe I need to wait a little while for that one. But yeah, I've taken out that jammer now. Okay, this should be the last signal jammer around the aqueduct. It wasn't easy, but I did it. I should get back to Nepli in their garage in their garage now. Okay, all right. But before I do that, I'm just gonna get this. Ugh, lovely. And then I'm gonna jump down here. Hey, you van girl. Yeah. I'm looking at an old map of the region trying to figure out where we can find vehicle parts. Do you think you could come with me to collect some once I'm done? Why not? And it'll be faster with the van. Cool. Yeah, that'll be a thing for us to do later. I think there might have been some kind of uh, vantage point around here, but I will go back and find that later. For now, let's get back to the van and take it back to Nepal's garage. I will fast travel there because that is so much quicker. Return to the garage! When I do that, just pretend I drove back, okay? Just pretend I, I drove back and jump, made a jump cut. Yep, that's what we did. So, good job. All the signal jammers around the aqueduct are destroyed. I couldn't have done it without your tools. With that, we should be able to locate Garance's spaceship. Finally! I'll need the knight to find the origin of the signal. Let me know when you're ready. So at the moment, the farms and the treasure hunt need to be done before we can go on with the next chapter. So those are the two that I will prioritize and I'll carry on looking for snacks and I'll carry on looking for the potatoes. So treasure hunt and the farms will still soon be empty. Wait. Toaster, the farms will soon be empty. So yeah, let's go and see Yucca then, who should be around here somewhere, hopefully. I'm climbing up here, hoping I'll get to where I need to be, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there we are. Yucca, I'm back. Seppe, sweetheart, you're back. And they talk to the nomads. They have a hidden storehouse, and they're thinking about whether to share with us or not. You're awesome. Sorry, I shouldn't have doubted you. No worries. 
By the way, why did you decide to come back here? You're not going to like it. I'm looking for answers on Garrett's disappearance. There's a chance she's still alive. Mm-hmm. I know I won't be able to dissuade you, so... I don't want you to get your hopes up. It's still painful for me. I've tried everything to find her and... I'll gladly help you if you need anything. I'd also like to know what happened to her. If only... Oh, and here, I found some components for you. Thank you. We never have enough. I'll do everything I can. You're right. Thank you, Soj. So it feels good to have you back. Okay, so we've got some more components. Lovely. And then we've got one more thing to do, which is the treasure hunt. So we better get and do that, hadn't we? Let's track that one. I don't want to move on with any chapters with anything left undone that's not going to travel across chapters with me. So where are we going for that? We're going back to Mistral Combe. Okay. That is fine by me. That might be looking for the vehicle parts, maybe. I don't know. I really do need to get the tracker on the, this bit sorted out, don't I? Oh, which way do I go now? Okay, take the next right and then the next left after that. Okay, cool. enough space for me to get out. Okay, let's uh, back up a tiny bit. And it looks to be this person over here. We need that treasure. Hey, the newcomer. How about helping me a bit? Alright. Hey, you were talking about a treasure. Exactly. What about doing a little treasure hunt? Yeah, I'm in. What are we looking for? That's the secret. Why all the mystery? Now I just want to know even more. You'll know if you come with me. Let's go, I want to know. Alright, I'll go with you. Perfect. Oh, and we'll need your van. Alright, so it's another one where we follow the follow the blue line. I'm quite happy with those ones, to be honest. Because I never know where I'm going. So I don't mind having a blue line to guide me. Right, let's go. Where are we heading? To the old port. And what do we do in the old port? You'll see when we arrive. Okay. Oh, we're nearly there. Meow. <laughs> I like driving fast. Yep, that's the place. Now we're alone. I can tell you more about the hunt. Yeah, tell me everything. First of all, sorry for not telling you earlier, but we're being watched. I'm also... She, you're also being watched by witches? Are you talking about the sand witches? The witches? Haha, <laughs> of course not. They don't exist, but the consortium does. I swear, they really exist. Well, you can tell me about that later, but listen, we're here to find a hideout. Some Helios Project containers washed up on the beach, and there must be a lot of them. Oh, and all of that for water? Water is extremely precious for us, as it's difficult to find on this planet. That's why I'd like you to find some water purifiers. Wow, I understand now. How can I help? You can scan the containers to find the one with the water purifiers. Once you found it, you can use your grapple hook to yank the door open. Alright, count on me. I'll wait here. Come whenever you find something. Okay, let's check these containers. This won't be too much of a difficult one then, hopefully. Scan. Okay. I just want to scan right now. Oh yeah. Scan. It looks like that one probably has the water purifier. If I get something in it. Right, let's go and have a look what that's got in it quickly. I think I could find what it was. Uh, robots. They seem inactive. I guess they never got a chance to be turned on. 
That's a rare component, but it is not a water purifier. Oh well. It probably would behoove me to uh, empty all of these anyway. Right, in we go. That one didn't look like it had anything in it from the scans. The materials are wet. No. Alright, let's uh, run the van into the water and check some of the other ones out. What's this you have stood by? I can't open that right now. That might be my reward. You never know. That's got something in it. That's got the water purifier. That's got something else. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, run over, grab the water purifier, and also... Oh, where is it? Come here, you. The pu water purifiers, they've all gone bad. Well, 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 look at that. The space has been caught in the act. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought it was weird that all geats teamed up with you, who just arrived from Space City. That's why we followed you with Hawking. And look, you're trying to reactivate some consortium stuff. I knew it. All geats in the Space City are consortium spies. Curry, Hawking, what are you doing here? Don't stay in the water. Come here. Ha! I knew you never left the consortium side. Um, Curry? Wait, what? what is this all about? She used to belong to the consortium, and seems like she still does. Come on, Curry, I already told you. I left the consortium and I joined you, so they can't find me. Then what's this consortium technology you're trying to reactivate then? Those are water purifiers. I wanted to bring them back to camp. But they've gone bad, so we can't use them. Water purifiers? So you wanted to... Yes, Curry, I was looking for a way to solve our water issue. Oh, I'm sorry, Augie. Yeah. Come on, Hawking, let's go. Yes, I think I feel embarrassment. Gosh, life sucks. Augie, is it true you belong to the consortium? Yeah, my whole family depends on the consortium. But what are you doing here, then? I just don't agree with them. What they do is disgusting. I've sabotaged many things there, you know. Wow, that sounds dangerous and also very brave. Why didn't you stay? I got in so much trouble, the only way to make them forget about me was to leave for another planet. I see. And I guess that's how you ended up on Sagalo. Exactly. Poivron let me in without asking questions. That's how the nomads work. That's really cool. And now I'd like to thank them by making their life a little bit better. They're already lucky to have you. Ha <laughs> Anyway, we should go now. Okay. So that one is done. I guess I'm, ta I'm giving you a lift back home, am I? Okay. Do you want a good story? Oh yeah, sure. What is, what is a road? What is a road? We, we don't use roads. Once we sabotage a consortium convoy. Ha! Wow, talk about risky. You said it, especially when the convoy crashed into some machine gun robots. That was fun. Is that all the story? I don't want to go too fast and miss the story. That'd be terrible. All right, there we are. Hey, Soj. Thank you. We came back empty-handed. Oh, I'm not talking about that treasure. You listen to me, and you're the first one to do so. Tre what? Oh, it's just a normal thing to do. Not for everyone. Ugh, it irks me so much. We couldn't solve your problem, and no one seems to trust you. It's not fair. Don't worry, I'll talk to Boiv Boivron, and he'll probably understand. Hey, you look like you need to let off steam. You see the consortium posters in the ruins next door? Yeah? Let's take them all down. Let's go. Ah! You definitely need that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more of these posters. Okay. Components. 9, 2, 4, and 11. Wow, that was a really good reward. 
Thank you. Sorge, I put... Sorge? Sorge, I put some components in your van. I found them in the ruins. I think he needs some. Oh, and I love taking posters down with you. <laughs> okay, cool. My friend. So I feel like that is probably the end of the chapter now. So I'm just going to log into Toaster. Should be able to do that from here. Try to locate the containers with your antenna and yank their doors off with your grapple hooks. Should help find the purifiers. You can count on me. Water purifiers? I've seen better treasure than that. So. Um, we're quite close to Labotech. So I think I could quickly do that one. Grab any tatoes I find on the way. And I'm still just getting the food as I run around the place. Um, looking at my inventory, I think I've got... What do you mean three of each? I could have sworn I had more than three of each. Oh well, never mind. Um, so we're still just slowly picking up triangle sandwiches and snack bars as we go along. I've got two mushrooms. Uh, so I need two more if I'm going to get all of the tatoes as well. But uh, for now, I'm thinking let's just go and see what dude wants up at Labotech. It's not actually too far away either. Hyle, I think her name is, isn't it? I see you, you little green frog. Right. Fantastic parking job there, Sheila, if I say so myself. Right, okay, so let's... Right, Hyla, great, you're here. You needed a high spot? Yes, I have to take pictures for the appendix of my studies. I need to take a picture of these interesting conveyor belts. Conveyor belts? Oh, you mean assembly lines? If you say so. Anyway, this ruin is impressive, and there are a lot of vehicles that seem to have been used to move around. There's got to be something interesting about this place. How do other Renatos see your studies projects? Well, Rana and Fusus don't know I'm here, but it's fine. They're old Renatos. Unlike in your culture, younger Renatos know better than the older ones. Uh, I think in our culture they think they do. <laughs> and in my case, I need to expand my kind's knowledge. You're lucky, I'll be considered as an adult as of this year. Then again, human babies are way less resourceful. Anyway, tell me once you found the archives hidden in this ruin. Alright, so we have to find the archives in this ruin now. Right, let's... Uh... Run around and see if we can find a way in. I'm going to see if I can get to that ladder first, I think. Seems like a good starter of a way up. Okay, and we've got some... Oh, I have explored around here. How on earth... Am I going to get that door out with the van? Oh, right, right, right. Because I already... Yeah, that's why I have a ladder. I already pulled that ladder down, didn't I? But I now have the ability to... So the only way I'm going to see... Be able to do more here is if I pull the whole thing away. So let's get back in the van and see if it's possible. grapple the door away. It is indeed possible. Right, let's go in there and see what we've got. I like that there's good range on the grapple because some of these doors I'm like, can I really get that with the grapple? And actually I can. So yeah, it's quite good. Alright, so now we can finally go in here. Thought I was going to fall down then. Okay, I hope you like acrobatics. Come back here once you have the archives. Well, there is at least a red thing here. Uncommon component. That is for a person. Okay, and we can run across here. There's another thing for a person down there. I think I'm going to run across here first and just see what's on the other side before I jump down. That makes the most sense to me, anyway. A hat with a symbol. A hat bearing a strange symbol. They've dropped their hat and their scarf now. A hat. 
It looks really old. It's so big, perfect for spending time under the desert sun. Interesting. Turn that on, whatever that is. Oh, the big door. We've opened that now. So if I need to get the van in here, I can get I can drive it around the back. Okay, I will have to remember that then. got here there's a door there that looks like it's a grapple door but it's uh, maybe grappled from the other side I feel like I'm gonna drop down now because I at least know I have a way out and all of these around here I want to grapple them with the yeah okay cool let's uh, go on this I should open that That doesn't have any electricity. Okay, I think I might have to go over here. And get this one. Yeah, okay, let's see what's this. They certainly didn't skimp on the number of posters here, did they? Can we wrap up some more consortium posters then? Okay, that's more power on. There's a triangle sandwich. That's my fourth one now. Yeah, four, lovely. some lovely components and that looks like the archives labotech archives according to its label this box probably holds information about labotech these must be the archives hyla was looking for i should bring them to her i want that one first i want to try and see if i can get this door open and bring the van through because if i can do that uh then we can bring it through there and start opening all of those all of those things. Uh, let me just see about... There is another... There, this door opens from the roof. So I want to try and check that out. But I think before I do that, I'm going to bring the van through and just have some fun opening containers. You having fun there taking your photos, Hyla? Tricky here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fragile door. Off you go. Yank ten doors open with the grappling hook. It looks like there's some kind of... Way up onto the roof there. I'm just not sure how. I'm just going to get out and uh, I'll grab the components in here. I'm just going to see if there's any other ones that I can grab. Yeah, there's another two here. And also there's a ramp up as well, which is quite useful. So I could have brought the van around the back anyway. That would have been fine. I was wondering if I could jump on the van to get round, but I don't think so. There's a buried object, and there's a hook there. What's that all about? Let's go and see. Why is there a hook there that I can grab? Oh, you know something? That makes me a... Uh, I use the van to make myself... Like, I don't have the equipment to do it yet. But the van is going to be how I'm going to get all those hooks that are all around the place. I will make my own zipline. 
That is really cool. But useless as yet. Useless at the moment. However, the buried object is uh, is doable. So let's get that pulled out. And we'll go and get the contents of that. Lovely. I think, um, because I've explored around here before, I think that hook is how you get on the ceiling. That's how you get on top of the containers. And it's how you get the power onto the door down below. I don't think there's anything else that we can do right now here without the pulley. So that's fine. That is, uh, we'll come back here to Labotech once we've found a way to get a pulley and do all the zip lining. That's going to be super fun when we get that, isn't it? Right, maybe it'll be in the next chapter. That would be nice. Here you go, Labotech archives. We'll finally know what was happening here. It's really interesting. What do you think the purpose of this room was? Uh, it was a delivery relay. Delivery? I've never heard of that. It was a factory for high-tech devices, like mirrors that capture solar energy. Solar panels? Yeah, it should be something like that. Did you see what's written on all the boxes outside? Helios. Yes, the Helios project. My grandparents were working on that before losing their jobs. It's the biggest project humanity has ever engaged in, exploiting all the energy of a star. You know a lot for a study assistant. Maybe this factory used to make elements of the Dyson Cloud around the sun. Yeah, that's what the archives say. That's so interesting. Um, what were these vehicles used for? Nice, you're following. These are vehicles for transporting resources. They were looking for resources needed for the factory and the mines. You know, since the consortium came, Sagalo is like Gruyere cheese. That's also why you have to hide in caves. Exactly, what happens is really terrible. But the past is the past. I personally need to focus on the future. I still have to put all the details in order, but we've made progress. Wonderful. Although you are kind of looking at history. <laughs> most of most of this is things that have happened. Things that have gone before, so... Alright, let's just back on out of here. Um, Actually, I think now, other than finding... Unless there are any little dudes kind of close by, which there aren't. They're all closer to Estello Village. I think we just need to head on back to the garage and I think we can now move the story on I didn't want to do it before because we hadn't done enough side quests and then I thought well while we're out here we'll do the lab tech one anyway the lab assistant one study assistant that's the one study assistant one but I feel like now we're all right everything's set up good you ready to triangulate Garance's signal location yes Pinpointing the signal from Garance's spaceship will take several days. Sagalo's residents will move on to other things, and you'll no longer be able to help them with their current tasks. Please make sure you've completed everything you wanted to do in this chapter, which we have. Okay. Let's have a look at Toaster then. Um... Eight days into the distress signal, the consortium regrets to inform you the insurance of Masco Garants does not cover fatal accidents. What on earth happened there then? Okay, well let's uh, follow the trail, I suppose. Probably should have taken out the signal jammer around here as well. Soge? Nefli? Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Come on, it's nothing. I was worried that that conversation would be a really long, drawn out and important one, so I didn't want to like be driving while I was having important conversations. You know, when Garrus disappeared and he went to live with Basil, I had no one to talk to anymore. Not even Clementine? Oh, she was too busy flirting with Olivier. <laughs> and after that, she had Abricot. I didn't want to bother them. But it's your family. They wouldn't be bothered. I understand I also didn't want to show Pop how sad I was. He was so heartbroken, I wanted to be strong for him. He's lucky to have you. But there's no reason to cry now we have a lead on her whereabouts. Well, just thinking about how we'll finally have answers makes me tear up. We're 
here, are we? We're here. Here we are, the aqueduct. But why was it all jammed in the first place? Back in the consortium days, signal jammers were used to prevent industrial espionage. But who's reactivating them now? It could be automatic, or the robots do it? But what truly matters now is that you unjammed the whole area. You're truly amazing. We should start now. We have a long night ahead. I'll need you to activate a device when I tell you to do so. All right. Mm, how does it work again? Can I help you? If we're lucky, everything is still working. Could you please activate all the computers in the room? All right, just wait a sec. How is it? Perfect, I'm getting something. Why does it feel like you know this place at the back of your hand? You study this kind of stuff at school in Space City? Okay, listen, with Garance, I spent a lot of time trying to understand these ruins. It's not like there's anything else to do around here. But why would Garance do that? Please focus. Hmm, asking questions you don't want to know. Hmm. It's all good. Systems are calibrated. But wait, don't change the subject. What were you doing with Garance? Well, it's nothing really serious. When we were together, we just thought it was our duty to improve life on Sagalo. We wanted the consortium to come back here. We wanted the population, jobs and social benefits back. We wanted to make Sagalo more than just three hippie camps and nomads. But... Why haven't I ever heard about this? And what do you mean by together? What? You used to date my sister? You didn't know? Yeah, you hadn't worked that one out. No? I thought you were only childhood friends. It changed when we were in Space City. To be honest, we didn't fit in. We were inseparable. Anyway, I can't believe it. I understand it's a hard pill to swallow, but I need you to go in the receptacle. You should find the access codes I need. Okay. Receptacle. Do we have a receptacle here? The control room. People used to monitor capsule deliveries to the Tarask here. What is the Tarask? What actually it Oh a triangle sandwich. <laughs> Let's have a look at toaster. Potatoes on the run, food, emergency message, mission aqueduct. Saying that there's one thing that I haven't read here. No idea. I'm saying, oh, there's the receptacle. I was like, is there one here? Yes, there is. Okay, what are you doing in the receptacle? You sandwich. Every time. One day I'll be able to meet you. Relay codes. Codes that can activate a receptacle relay on the aqueduct. Do I need to now just come out? I figure. Right, I've got these relay codes now. I found what I needed. Oh, it's not the codes I was thinking it'd be, but it's fine, I'll do with what I have. Now, you should be able to activate one of the relays on the rooftop. You can get up there by climbing on the crates in the back of the room. I'm almost there. Okay, crates in the back of the room. I see. Some cool stuff. Like, what are you doing there, too? You're everywhere. Wait, what is that? Hey, you. What the hell? What do you want from me? Soj. Why did you come back to Sagalo? 
Why do I think this Garrants might be a sandwich? But do we know each other? I'm looking for my sister. Her name's Garrants. Garrants. You won't find anything here. So, everything's good up there? We'll meet again. Wait! I... Is that for real? I should tell Nefli. I need a card to activate this terminal. Okay. Was that what I was meant to do? I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I was too busy, like, being... Worried about the witch and stuff. Looks like we can get out there now, possibly. But I still don't have like a way to get through some of these doors either. That looks like a hook for my van, possibly. Could my van hook that? I'm not sure actually. But I probably have activate I activated a load of stuff up there, so I probably activated what I need, hopefully. The calculations are in progress. What were you doing? There was someone on the rooftop. What? Okay. <laughs> a silhouette with a huge cloak. Uh-huh. Je ne sais quoi. It's quoi, isn't it? Quoi, what? Or why, maybe. My French is terrible, sorry. Uh-huh. Again. But now let's focus on the signal. We'll be careful in the meantime. Someone's watching us. What? But why haven't you told me? I didn't know there was still a thing. It's a group of nomads who live near the Taras Storm. We're trespassing in their territory. So some sort of sect is following us? Everything is normal. Wait, I just realized something. The signal. It comes from the Tarask. Interesting. Oh, so this is where we get our cutscene now. Okay. I'm sure it's showing me all sorts of stuff I'm supposed to be paying attention to and I'll forget. Engine of Hope. 11 days since Garance's message. So Garrus is inside the Tarask storm? Uh-huh. Nafle, are you okay? I'm fine. Yes, I know. It won't be easy to find her, but at least we know where Garrus is now. So, do you realise how dangerous the Tarask is? Why, because of radiation or because of the sandwiches? The Tarask was used to send equipment built on Sigalo, no, Sigalo, for the Helios project. It used to be a big orbital cannon, and now it's out of control. That's why Sigalo is in ruins now. This incident happened 40 years ago. The machine got out of control for unknown reasons and its magnetic field went haywire. That's how the eternal storm started. It's impossible to live there now. It's not going to stop Garrants. Garrants indeed is dauntless. But the magnetic field is going to fry your van. Ugh, okay, what do you have in mind? The Tarask was connected to a receptacle network covering all of Sigalo's facilities. Engineers were using it to transfer themselves to other places quickly when needed. If we manage to take control of it, we'll be able to transfer ourselves directly inside the machine. And how are we supposed to achieve something even the Consortium failed at? The Consortium didn't try that hard. Exploiting other planets instead was way more profitable. Let's start with updating your antenna. I have an idea. Let's go back and get in the receptacle. Okay. Sorry for not telling you all of this. It's fine, as long as you explain everything. It's just I feel like I'm always the last one to hear about everything. You were young at the time. And after that, you didn't come back to Sigalo for a while. Type 
bend here, so I'll slow down a bit. It feels weird to be back here. All the people I knew in my childhood are so different now. Haha, <laughs> everyone grew up. Your parents, your family, we're all just humans. Ah. I feel like in this chapter I'm gonna wanna go and get all of the potatoes. If I don't get the food quest done, I'm not too worried. Like, if I find the stuff for the food quest, I find the stuff for the food quest. If not, I'm not going to go looking for it. But the potatoes are literally marked on my map. I think it would be a bit horrible not to go and rescue them at least. So that's the one side quest I will 100% do. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Got a lot done this episode, actually. It was a really cool episode, too. Get in the receptacle. I spent days coding this. Hey, Soch, do you remember anything from your programming classes? Oh, that's your thing, not mine. Please don't ask me to sit in front of a desk. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I have the perfect item to turn you into a hacker. A hacker? Seriously? I upgraded the antenna so it can deactivate the consortium safety protocols. It's a Trojan virus we can use to get inside via a simple homebrew program I coded myself. Easy peasy. I stopped listening after you said protocols. To make it simple, you can now use the antenna to hack old devices. It comes in useful, for example, with identity detection platforms. Oh yeah. Well, that's convenient. But isn't that illegal? No worries, no one's using it anymore. What would be illegal would be to pirate toaster terminals. <laughs> I'm guessing you're doing that too. You will also need it to get to the relays. We saw some earlier, they link all receptacles to each other. Unfortunately, the network is damaged and some of them are disconnected. We'll have to fix the infrastructure to be able to use the transfers. We'll use the transfers to access the Tarask network. If everything goes well, we'll be able to transfer ourselves directly inside the Tarask and find Garants. Alright, I'll do it. Evolutionary virus. This made by Nephle virus can be transferred onto devices to disarm their security. Thanks to the antenna. Awesome. So that's in my inventory. Okay. Cool, cool. I recreated the transfer relays we can find in the region. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Let's go and have a go at this then. So I know how to do it when we get in there in real life. So we go here. Oh, I'm not allowed in. Okay, here are the coordinates for the aqueduct. Even though I guess you're starting to get familiar with the region, you can transfer there with the receptacle in the garage. Go to the first relay we activated and try to follow its data beam. So I think that means we've got fast travel. Okay, I don't know if the van will come with me though. That's interesting. Okay, so... I still haven't worked this out though, have I? Uh, let's have a look at my inventory. So I now have this. But what do I actually do? Do I need to be in the van or something? Does the van need to come closer? Possibly? I'm not leaving till I've like finish this mm, you know something I actually just want to play around with these as well so that's powered up because I figured that that was a fast travel thing alright maybe not how do I do anything you really put a lot of thought into every single simulation you make. Yeah, but this one's easy. You just need to find the exit. Yeah, of course I do. Alright, let's get in the van. And see if I can change tool. So I need the antenna up, don't I? I need to scan. Ah, I scanned it. And that did it. Okay. Now it's a normal person one. Alright. 
I'm a hacker now, guys. I'm a hacker now. Yay. All right. Then that one needs to have the power turned on. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head over here and see if I can do anything around here. Okay, let's turn this power on. That's allowed me to get that ladder down. Nice. Let's go up here. Turn that power on. Okay. Oh, I see. That is relayed down to there now. Okay. Good to know. Let's open that door. I see, so it's like an energy relay. And I found the exit. Yay! Okay, puzzle done. Here we go. Now we'll be able to find the access codes for the Tarask. Great. And where are the other receptacles again? Go back to the aqueduct where we looked for the signal from Garance's spaceship. The relays start from there. You'll notice some of them are inactive. You need to restart them. They'll give you access to the underground facilities with receptacles. And don't forget you can use the garage as receptacle. It'll be handy if you need to go near a receptacle you've already activated. Alright, I'll try to fix the relays. However, I'll need your help for something else. I'm not 100% sure that I fully understand what I'm doing here. I need a way to navigate through these cables we see in the ruins in order to access more places. It's a good idea, but those cables were meant for robots only and they're very fragile now. I think I can help you, but that means I need very rare metals in order to build a strong and resistant motorised pulley. Okay, I'll bring you any components I find on my journey. Good luck. I can already go to the aqueduct. I'll check that out, but I want to know... I should be able to restart the first relay. I want to know about this pulley right now. 25... 54... 23 and 10. Man... So I've got some quests as well to do. Salvage duty. Hey, we need a vehicle to gather some parts so we can finally get the hell out of here. Curry, people won't want to help us if you like this. Community meeting. Please come to the cafe. We're holding a meeting to discuss the seeds and the nomads. Well, tell them hi from me. I have bread to bake. Saffron, these are serious matters. Can I take part? Of course you can. And my third study assistant job. Hope you've got boots, Soge. We're going to the seaside today. I'll be waiting for you at the docks. Don't make me wait too long. Well, this young Renato bosses you around more than your own father does. <laughs> so I think the ones with clocks on them are the ones that are like ones that I have to do within the chapter. I think that might be the idea there. But I am wondering whether before we go off... Well, uh, actually, let's go in the garage receptacle and just see how that works. So, uh, so this has become a fast travel node. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like there are van spots as well. So what I'm thinking is that maybe I need to drive the van around um, to... Well, let's just see. Let's just see what happens when I go to this one. Like, does the van come with me? a van around somewhere. Yep, the van is just parked nicely outside on its on its little van spot. So I think that's the, the deal with that. There's a yellow there. I will have you, thank you. And there's actually a door that I need to hack around here as well, look. I can get in there if I hack it with the van. So, um... I need to drive the van underneath it, maybe. Alright, and then... Ca 
I, the thing is, can I get back up here? That is the question. Need to make sure I can. Oh yeah, okay. The van is here right now. I need to take it. I don't know actually. I don't know if I can hack from here or like I don't know what the range is on it and stuff. Oh yeah, I can hack it from miles away. Brilliant, okay. Love this game actually for that. <laughs> it's a this could be really difficult if I have to be within a certain... Ra no, no, you can just see through walls and everything. It's, it's fine. Oh, what's that? Being so small, there's no way they would have let me get on this bridge. I've got enough common components at the moment. It's the, uh, it's the red ones that I need. Cool, we got in here, lovely. Any red components? Oh, there's a purple one, I'll take I'll take that, that's fine. An exceptional component. Don't mind if I do, there's a yellow one there as well. All the good stuff's in the, the rooms that you wanna hack, right? <laughs> the emergency message, reminder, 11 days since distress signal. The consortium informs you the school fees of Masco Garants for Space Pilot School 481 sector have not been fully paid. Great. There's also probably or possibly um, containers that might have doors that can be pulled off. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Um, if I walk along that, I think I can, yeah, I can go there and walk along here. I can go up here. Hope no one's scared of heights. Grab that component at least. Component down there. It's a red down there as well. Okay. I'm not going to try any silly jumps there. <laughs> One down there as well on the ground. Uh, there's stairs down here, but I don't think they go to anything particular. We've been up on the roof. Um, where did I see? I saw like red ones somewhere, didn't I? in there, but that looks like I need to get... I don't know. Let's just jump down. It's easier. It's easier than going the normal way, going down the stairs. We don't use stairs around here, do we? You know. It doesn't look like any of the containers have pull tabs on them. I think maybe that that's not such a thing anymore. Now I've played with it for a bit, it, I'm onto the new toy. I knew it would make me get like tons and tons and tons of components. This is why I've been collecting so many like all along and trying to do all the side quests. I knew it would make me get loads of them for this pulley because the zip lining looks so fun. I like they wouldn't just let me have that, you know. Not sure. I might see if I can have a look in there, actually. Just in case. And then I should, like, drive around this whole thing and scan it with the van, see if there's anything I've missed. Yellow one. I knew there would be. Then I'm going to have a look in that tower over there, because that looks like a place I'd, I'd hide loads of stuff in there if I were them. Like I say, I've got a van with a scanner, so I definitely should use that to get anything that I've missed. Oh, this is where the... Oh, right, yeah, I have had a look around here already. 
I absolutely have. So I've had some of the stuff. But then I got to stuff like this. Ah, I think we hacked that when we hacked the one over there. I think it hacked all of it. There's a good range on this. Or did or no, or did I? I don't know. I just decided to, to give up on this, didn't I? Because I got out there and then I was like, oh, there's loads of stuff to do and and there's loads of switches and stuff there and I've no idea what I'm doing, so let's not worry about it. Ah yeah, so I can't get the ladder there. That says to me that there might be something outside here, some way up or way around. Or some way to deal with the switches. Yeah, I don't think that's something I'm going to be able to do any more of at the moment. I'm not going to be able to get into that control tower. I might be able to get across there maybe by... Yeah, there's a zip line. So I need to get on the roof there and zip line it. So yeah, that's not to be done until zip lines have been unlocked. What's this? It's exactly the same model as Garance's spaceship. Interesting. What was I meant to be doing around here, by the way? Go to the first relay and try to follow its beam. Alright, okay. I shall follow the beam. Well, I've done quite a bit. Of, well, I might do a little bit of looking for more components, but I think I've done quite a bit of that now, so that's good. Done a good job. So the beam goes to that tower there by the looks of it. So there's probably another receptacle to unlock over there. Don't know if I really need the van for that or whether I could run there, but probably the van would be a good idea. We only got like another 10 minutes of the episode. It has has this not been full of action? This has been a very full of action thing. I'm, I'm trying to work out if um, whatever's on top of there, on that pipe, is something worth going and getting. Probably. Might be sandwiches in there or something. Strange device, a high-tech machine that looks like a bomb. Let's hope it'll never go off. What is this big box? I have a bad feeling about it. Maybe we'll need it later though. It, it definitely looked like something I was supposed to see and go and get. 100%. Scan. Well, as far as this scan goes, I think I've done a relatively good job of getting the... Uh, the stuff. There's a buried object down there though, so we'll go and grab that with the, with the uh, grapple. Oh, and out you come. Those tend to be full of components, and we desperately need components right now. So we've got two uncommon and uh, four common. Very nice. So the more stuff we're unlocking, the, the more we're able to get hidden components and stuff. So that's quite nice. So over here... So I'm going to need to probably hack this door. Because I can now. And that, I think, will be a van opening one. Yes, drive the van on it. And we can get that open. Lovely. Right, so there's a staircase up there. There's a big door there. There's a locked door there. And I'm not sure where the power to that is. There's a ladder there. Alright, I'm just going to head up the stairs by the entryway. You are mine component. See if there's any goodies up there or anything. Oh, there's a red one and a yellow one. Oh, I knew there was a reason I was over here. So we are five short five short, 24 short, and we've got plenty of green ones. <laughs> Find the green ones everywhere. Red ones are the, are the big one at the moment. 
We would have seen the engineers pass by here when we when they returned home. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much up here, but yeah, I was, I'm glad I came over here because there were some tasty components. Right, up the ladder we go then, I guess. More components, more components. A big unopenable looking door. Oh, what's going on here? Ooh, robots. They're guarding the place. Uh, let's hope we don't have to have a fight. Gonna run over there and see what the deal is. I have no idea what the deal is right now. We need to be more focused, Turing. They were named after fine famous science scientists, the robots, aren't they? Hawking, Turing. So, hello. Oh, I've met all the characters apparently. Hmm. Ambassador. Lamar. Oh, a human being. Please explain the reason why you came to the refuge. So, oh, uh, I'm looking for components or parts. She wants to tear us apart, Nostradamus. <laughs> no, wait. Do you want to harm us, human? I promise I'll only take what is not of use anymore. I'm actually looking for my sister and I need to, to build tools in order to explore underground facilities. Then you can stay alive. Unfortunately, we can't help you further. We currently have a highly important mission. Oh, really? We need to build a haven for robots in Sagalo. Lamar and I, Turing, we gather abandoned machines, consciousnesses, right here. Our goal is to migrate our consciousnesses to a server in a single shared body. Why don't you do that to a cloud? Because of the consortium, they're trying to deactivate us. My faith in them is equal to 0 0.0000000, which is also equal to zero. Zero. <laughs> But I thought it was the consortium who sent you here in order to industrialize Sagalo. We have taken part in this planet's deterioration, but we did not want that. Now we wish to keep on living here while minimizing the impact we have on the planet. That is why we would like to put our consciousnesses in one physical server together that would keep us safe. And being in one single body would reduce your impact on the environment. Smart. We could use help to collect more consciousnesses. If you find some, I will exchange them for components you need. Listen, I travel around Sagalo a lot, and I meet many robots. I'll see what I can do. Deal. We'll install a portable server on your van, so you can stock the consciousnesses you find. Come back here if you find anything. This is so cool. A portable server. A transportable server installed on the van to stock robot consciousnesses. It comes in handy when you want to avoid sending them via the network. Ah. Wow. With the server on the van, it should be easy to carry any consciousnesses I find. But now I need to find them. Underground facilities are real labyrinth. Okay. Right then. I guess we'll look around here. Um, it looks like there are a few, like, things around here that I should maybe turn on. I'm not sure. There's a yellow thing here. Look around a bit. For I'm really glad the components are like yellow and shiny because it does help find them. <laughs> if they weren't like blaringly obvious like lights, I might sometimes miss them. I think 100% know what I'm doing here, but you know. With all the sun here, these solar cells must have plenty of work to do. So I've got to get to the top of that tower, I think. And turn that one on. But I still don't have enough components, anywhere near enough components, for my zip line. So that's going to be interesting component there. Let's so jump up here. I can't. Lovely. Big staircase down. Oh, 
I'll get all the way up here and then it'll be like, you need to hack something. I'll have to go all the way back down to the van again. Ah, more witch uh, drawings, I think. Up we go. There is another plushie up here. It's funny to see these childhood memories from the past. Many kids have grown up on Sagalo. Oh, we've got a point up here. If they're right by me, I may as well check them out. Wow. I love these vantage points. They're amazing. So I want to try and find my way to the... To the laser beam. <laughs> I'll just call it a laser beam. I forget what it's meant to be called. I'm going to find my way to that. Try and activate the next one. Um, try and activate the receptacle. Because, of course, I remember that name. Um, and, <laughs> and then we'll probably wrap up the episode there, I think. But, my goodness, there's been a lot of action this time, hasn't there? Wow. That is an amazing view. The aqueduct is so cool. Or is this even the aqueduct anymore? I don't know. It's part of it, I think. I think it's a big area with lots of stuff. But I guess I need that now to bounce onto something else. Okay, I think we're finished with that. That's going to make a lovely thumbnail, right? That'll be my thumbnail. Woohoo! Let's go in here then, shall we? And I'll take that red component for lulls. Um, we're still going up. Good grief. Up and up and up and up. I haven't seen any sandwiches around here, though. Or cereal bars. The cereal bars are going to be harder, I've got this feeling. That they're going to be really difficult to find. The ones I've found so far, I haven't even seen. Whereas at least the triangle sandwiches I've seen. Alright, I don't know what to do with that one. Okay, that turns the bridge on. Right. Fabulous. And up we go some more. Good job. Soge isn't scared of heights. What happened to the camera there? I do not know. Alright. I found an exceptional component. Perfect. I need four more of those now. Um, I need... Four more of the yellow, and I still need 23 of the red. Maybe I'll just need to get some more robot consciousnesses. So, we have turned that on. And so now we need to follow, keep following the relay, I figure. Let's turn toaster on and see if uh, anything was... Okay, so... Uh, so, I'm contacting you to remind you the robots we are looking for are in Sagalo's underground facilities. They should appear on your map. Oh, they look like little ghosties. Okay. Uh, but only when you're underground. There are five of them. They all survived the virus, but had to stay on their own for years. Be careful. Alright, I have business in the underground facilities anyway. I'll bring them back to you once I find them. Lovely. That one is another one like the study assistant and the Tato's on the run and the food quest that are going to run throughout the game. And I can try and do them later if I need to. I really hope there are more of the um, snacks and things than I need because I've not had tons of luck finding them so far. We are on three and five so far. I'm... Good at finding the triangle sandwiches. I'm not very good at finding the cereal bars. I tell you that right now. So, salvage duty. Again, with the nomads. Community meeting. We need to go and do that. So, we need to do those two before we can move on. And I would like to... Um, Okay, is it going to sort of... This view is just insane. I don't think we can go much higher. That's amazing. 
Now, I'm going to take advantage, I think, of the fact that there's no fall damage in this game. If you're scared of heights, don't look right now. Because I just want to get straight back to the van. That was so good. That looks like the, the van is needed to cut. Oh, I can maybe park the van in here and secure it. I don't know. But I figure that probably what I'm going to need to do then. Oh, hang on. There was, was there a receptacle up there? That was what I needed to find, wasn't it? Oh, I completely messed up there. Oh, there's an underground in the Labotech. Interesting. Got a few underground things here that I haven't found yet. Hmm. All right. Well, at the at, we're at the refuge right now. Um. And the yeah, the reason I yeah I turned on the the blooming light. And I didn't find the receptacle. So, blur. That's so annoying. How did I not? How did I not go and find that? Now I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up again. Oh, I need the van to get in. I swear, I am a nightmare. Let me just check toaster as well, make sure that I'm doing this right now. Go to the first relay we activated and try to follow its data beam, which I did. I did follow its data beam. We got up there, but there wasn't like another receptacle. So does every data beam have a receptacle or what? Uh, this is what I want to find out. So sadly, we're going to have to climb all the way back up again because I suck and didn't check. I also wonder whether... I think that is just for the door. I think it's just for the door. I don't think that door is going to open for me. Oh, no. I'm not stuck, am I? No. So, yeah, what didn't I see? Did I not... Was there a receptacle there and I didn't see it? Somehow. Amongst the robots and things. There was a lot to do there, to be fair. And I don't know if every beam has a receptacle. Check. So these are all solar panels. But if there is one, I'd like to find it. So we did go up here. We checked this out. This is the thing. I didn't see one, but that doesn't mean it wasn't there. Because if I wasn't looking for it directly, that might not have been something I saw. So I'm trying to look around and make sure that if there is one anywhere, I find it. And I'm hoping it's not behind that orange door. I'm hoping the orange door goes to outside. I'll get used to what I'm looking for soon, you know. See, I didn't even see half of these components, either. Too excited about getting in here. Still no, though. Still not a receptacle around that I can see. Not one there, either. But I would think if there was one, it might be closer. There's a room underneath there with a triangle sandwich in it. Uh, yeah, I bet that's the control room. Bet you anything that's the control room. And I just, I just swung off the side there. Didn't even look in here. 
Look, there's yellow components in there and everything. There's a triangle sandwich in there too. The question is, is there a receptacle? I'm not seeing one. Not in here anyway. Although sometimes I struggle to find them. I'm not going to lie about that. Let's have a look around up here as well. No, so we've got a few things up here, but not one of those. Okay. So I'm not certain on that one. I'm not certain whether every single place will have one. Because I followed the data beam. So I'm not sure whether we're just going to have to keep following data beams. Or what the deal is, honestly. It's an interesting one. But I feel like I've like activated everything I can find. And there was a did I activate anything in here? Or did I just find components and sandwiches? I think I may have just found components and sandwiches in here, so maybe there's also like what could be switches there. I'm not sure. Maybe that'll be a later thing. Um, but I think I'm gonna. Oh, look who's down there. Oh no, that's one of the robots. Sorry, it looked like the person that I've been that's been following me around all this time. Just gonna keep a look around. Okay. I want to investigate that door some more. I'm going to bring the van in and just see why there's a pad here. I want to make sure that that doesn't do anything. Let's just keep the door open, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to just go and have a quick look around the outside. And see if I can see where that door goes. If that goes into a room or what the deal is. If it just goes straight outside. Yeah, it doesn't go outside. It goes into a room, I think. And that says to me that there's something that I haven't done around here that will allow that door to open. I don't know what it is. Okay, so I wanna do a thing. I wanna go back to Nefle's garage and I wanna start again from there. I'll get in the van quickly. And I want to see whether um, receptacles have opened up or whether we only have that first one still. Because I'm confused and I don't know what I'm doing and I'd like to see if that's the way that I can work it out. Alright, so. One up here. It's high up. What is this? disconnected so it looks like there's one two three four more that haven't been connected up So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here. Um, I'll go and grab the van in a minute and I'll 
see there's a couple of relays there that I haven't managed to do. So I'll follow the relay beam and I'll see if I can maybe follow, uh, find another receptacle next episode. It might be that they're not in every single building. I had a reasonable look in that one. The only thing I can't get through is the orange door. Not sure why. But uh, maybe there are things that I haven't unlocked yet and that's why I can't get through that room. So I'm not going to sit there trying, 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 trying to do something that might not be possible. I will follow the yellow beam along and we will just keep going with that and see what we can do. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.